Hello. Um. I just feel like rambling because, like, you get so many things in your mind, you just have no way to tell it to you. So I'm gonna talk to you over the internet because that's a good thing to do. So that's where we come up with an interesting rambling thing. Um. So I guess I'll just talk about my night and then you can, uh, listen to me do that. It's weird. Why would you want to listen to a woman talk over the internet? Or any. I, don't know. I personally don't think I talk about, like, interesting things. I'm a boring person. I'm a really boring person. Uh, which a lot of people think, oh, you're you're probably so interesting behind all these weird videos. But in reality, I'm not. I, I, I don't have a story or like anything like that. I'm just here being me. I'm not that cool. I'm not a cool cat. But I do find men a lot more interesting than women for some reason. Um, I, know, I tend to think that women all, most of them seem the same as for men. I think everybody, all the men just come from like, you know, they seem more interesting for some reason, but I can't put my finger on it as to why, uh, but I'm not a big fan of women, personally, I don't hate women at all, I just, you know, I think that's like more of an edgy thing to do, I hate women, um, I mean, I do dislike a big majority of women for some reason, I have my reasons though. Um, which I've explained to a few people. Um, but then again, I probably have no room to talk to that. So, if you're gonna message me, oh, Ashley, you're, you can't say this about women because you're a woman or whatever. I like somebody said that to me, like, you can't talk about women because you're a woman. I don't know. I probably don't even make sense. They don't make sense. They make as much sense as I do. But. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't see women that interesting, personally. A lot of them seem the same to me. But maybe I just haven't been presented to many interesting women before. But I've talked to a few people that think that women are more interesting than men. And those are men that think that. So maybe it's like just a, a gender thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's talk about what I have in my room. I counted actually. I have 12 cans of Pepsi in my room, which isn't a good thing. Once you reach three, take them out, push yourself to go to the trash can and pour them out. As for me, that's not the case, bud. Uh, I also have my typical night of sausage pizza right here. Um, I had two slices for dinner. Then I have this third one, and it's like 5 a.m. or something. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. Um, so yeah, you're probably wondering, what do I like to eat? You already know the answer, because it's all I eat is sausage pizza. Wash it down with a nice cold Pepsi sponsor. And don't brush your teeth. Eat Altoids, dude. You're going to eat Altoids. And it sucks that there's not more of them in there. I go feeling like crazy, so. Oh, yeah. But. I wonder if anybody collects Altoid tins, like just modern ones, not old special ones. That'd be kind of a cool thing to, to come across because I have too many of these. And I'll just throw them away. I stuff them in this drawer that's like full of Altoid tins. <laughs> Yes, I think they'll be useful one day. I'm not a hoarder. Maybe I'm in denial, but I don't think I'm a hoarder at least. <laughs> Maybe it's developing. But I think that one day these will have a use and that my collecting of these will pay off one day. Make somebody happy. I don't know. But, yeah. What else is there? Oh, fears. That's one thing I wanted to talk about is fear. I have a fear of sleep paralysis, <laughs> where you're stuck in the bed, you're not stuck in the bed, right, you're like asleep, and you wake up and you can't move, and people claim that they've seen demons, or whatever, it sounds stupid, but many people claim that they've seen demons while being sleep paralyzed, they can't move, and like some chick's like, oh, the witch punched me while I was asleep, and I felt it, she couldn't wake up, or whatever, now, 
that's probably an idiot's tale and I buy into it because I'm gullible but I'm afraid of that happening to me and luckily it never has but I have this thing like where I think if I fear something too much eventually it's going to happen like it'll develop <laughs> um, which kind of like my, one, my biggest fear I think it is my biggest fear is developing schizophrenia because you're not in control of your own mind your mind's deteriorated and you, you've lost it um, so yeah I have a big fear of like being schizophrenic you're probably thinking you are schizophrenic but <laughs> I don't think I am no I, I, I know I'm not but um, yeah so like I said I think if I fear it too much eventually it'll develop and happen so just try not to worry about things too much so they don't happen but then again realistically I think that worrying about things at times is definitely necessary um, people who try and cover up things with being optimistic tend to lead to bigger disappointment if it doesn't happen as for worrying you're more aware of what the realistic options are you're not setting yourself up for failure or disappointment. People tell me not to think that way or tell people not to think that way in general. Uh, I guess because it can get you depressed or whatever, but it's thinking realistic. But then you can't go overboard because I do know people who go overboard with thinking realistically to the point where it's just unrealistic. Um, so you do have to have a limit of being realistic. You can't think of all these possibilities that are just completely bizarre, <laughs> if that makes sense, but, yeah, life's a weird thing, definitely, um, the mind is, is weird, so many people try and study it, um, yeah, a lot of people are going to be psychiatrists or whatever, I don't know, it's a weird thing that how many people try to do that. I don't know if it's an easy thing to do or not, or it's an easy way to get money, but, yeah, what else? And kind of like along that line, people who tend to fake, like, anxiety over the top, like, oh, I'm so anxious, or, like, sprouting out, oh, I'm having a panic attack or whatever, I mean, personally, my opinion if you are why do you have to kind of like announce it that much and I probably sound like a hypocrite and I probably said I'm anxious at times but I mean there's a difference between sometimes saying I'm worried or I'm anxious and then full-blown trying to spurt out your mental disorder to everybody to the point where it just sounds fake and like you want sympathy which same thing can apply to depression. Now those are two popular examples of anxiety and depression because they usually go hand in hand, don't they? But, um, yeah, those are things that people tend to, they like to, I'm not saying people that have those are faking it, I'm just saying that a lot of people like to, I guess, say they have it when it's kind of, a little obvious that they don't, or if they do, that they're trying to go overboard with it and want attention with it. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm thinking out loud, but it's just, it's weird. There's a lot of people that do that. It's amazing. What? Why would you want to do it? I don't know. But, like I said, I'm probably a hypocrite to some of this, aren't I? Somebody will catch me somewhere in one video where I say something, point out that in this video, you prove yourself wrong and you're a hypocrite happened and it's weird uh, I should watch what I say though but I feel like people do tend to pick nitpick at my videos and just try and like disprove me which feel free to I mean I'm not saying don't it's just an annoying thing at times because it happens so often but like it's my own fault if I didn't want that to happen I shouldn't say it so I'm not I shouldn't be complaining but I am. <sighs> I usually never talk for 10 minutes straight. How do people do it? 
I actually have real life water here. Great value. <laughs> you see how poor I really am. Mmm, Walmart. But, yeah. No, I think that's all I wanted to say. So, you know, you want to comment, you can. Or just private message me about this video. <laughs> but, yeah. I probably won't have much in reply. I'm a really boring person. As I say all the time, I think. But it's true. And so many people say that she's, oh, Ashley, you're not fun to talk to or you're boring. Which I don't claim to be interesting or whatever. As I've said, I think that women are pretty uninteresting. Most of them. Um, now feel free to tell me about interesting women you know. I'll be more than glad to look into it, but... I, there are interesting women. I just don't know many of them. Uh, yeah. Bows look weird. Bye.